if one of the children is a people pleaser and is very passive, should the non-disordered parent maybe encourage rebellion or should, should they encourage conflict so that that child will gain a voice, gain a spine? Well, here's, you know, it's a, it's a very, so that maybe they'll practice because, it otherwise. Right. Because, um, you know, you don't know the, the current situation. However, right. what I usually do is I'll, I'll just straight up ask, okay, so what do you want? What do you need? Tell me what you need. Not what everybody else needs. What do you need? What do you want? And then you ask, how can you speak up for what you need and what you want? And then I ask, what boundaries do you need to set with the individuals, your parents or others, based on what you need and want? Sometimes you have to tell them, no, and I'm not going to do that anymore, and that's not right, and this is what I want, this is what I need, and be able to assert themselves. And it's all about, I think most of the work I do with men in general is just communication and being able to assert themselves. Because yeah. identity comes from, when we have, have a solid identity, we, we're able to assert who we are and what our values True. are. And that's, that's going to be the remedy for a lot of problems that men have and really does help to improve mental health is when we teach assertiveness. Do you teach them different ways to assert themselves and maybe kind of baby step them into it? Sure. Sure. It's always, you know baby steps and, yeah. you know, and trial and error and, you know, come back and tell me how it went. And then, you know, let's try that again, but let's do it a little differently, you know? So, you know, cause sometimes guys don't understand the difference between assertiveness and aggression because it's a learning experience, but yes, yes, it is baby steps. And, and so, but, but it comes back to, okay, again, giving them voice. What do you need? What do you want? How can you speak up for what you need and want? What boundaries do you need to set? And what would that look like? And then you just work through that with them and coach them through that.